Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the sterling versus U.S. dollars. We head toward the end of this uh, trading week and look forward to next week's trading. Recall from my early report, the uh, the sterling versus U.S. dollar had moved up to test its 200-hour moving average. This is way at the beginning of the New York session. And sellers leaned against that level and poor market back to the downside. That uh, force uh, lower uh, took the price down below this swing area between 121.59 9 and 121.67. This level was defined by a number of different swing lows through here this week, uh, and uh, then uh, also swing highs uh, through this period right through here. Uh, so a very uh, a key swing area, and as you can see, when the price moved below that level in trading here today, right, uh, right uh, here, uh, we did find uh, some uh, selling pressure, and uh, we haven't uh, bid back to that level since. The uh, current hourly bar has just reached a new low that low price uh, has come in at 121.217 uh, it is uh, short of this next target on the downside again another swing area going back in time to this date September 27th uh, and then uh, found some support here against it on uh, the October 4th and 5th and 6th right through here three days in a row where the price uh, found buyers buyers and buyers again uh, which uh, eventually moved to our high price here so this level right here is going to be a key target on the downside that if we get below we'll be looking down toward the 120.76 level and then our low price for the month of October at 120.36 so uh, what's the importance of this level right here at 120.76? I'm glad you asked because if you go to the daily chart and look at the 38.2% retracement of the move hi uh, higher from the September 2022 low to the low price to the high price that we saw in July, the 38.2% retracement comes in at that 120.76 level. So that's the importance of that level. Admittedly, we went below that level earlier this month on our way to uh, the lowest level going back to this day uh, in March. Uh, and so we have to get below uh, the 38.2 and the low price from October to open up the door for further downside uh, momentum in the pound versus U.S. dollar. But the, uh, don't underestimate the importance of the 38.2%. Remember, uh, I often talk about how uh, when you have a, a, move, a trend like move to the upside, if you correct to the 38.2% retracement, that's just a plain vanilla variety of a correction. In this case, we went a little bit below it before rotating to the upside. So there's still uh, uh, something to prove from the sellers to get below and stay below that 38.2% retracement. If they can't do that, guess what? They're not really winning. They're just kind of in the game still, but not winning. They need to get and stay below that level. So keep that level in mind going forward, going forward into the new trading week. On the top side, we're going to need to move back above the 121.59 to 67 level and back above the uh, the 200-hour uh, moving average to give the buyers more confidence that the uh, downside has been uh, reached, that we've, this consolidation phase has a uh, potential to move further to the upside. If we get above the 200-hour moving average, we'll look toward the 100-hour moving average and other retracement levels as well on the way back to the upside so there you have it a look at the sterling versus u.s dollar the sellers are uh, in control trying to take more control but there's work to do um, uh, to get below key levels including the 38.2 percent retracement of the move uh, longer term move up on the daily chart my name is greg michalowski good fortune with your trading bye bye now